everyone, this is my recap of Sister Wives. Unfortunately, John is not here this week. In his place, though, come here. We have a little dog named Cooper who refuses to be potty trained despite the utmost of care and skill from a handful of people. Okay, so anyway, he's here. We pick up right with the Gabe Garrison fight. They bring in an outside source who says that uh, Gabe was lying. And then they give him this big long lecture and it makes me so uncomfortable because you're like, you know what every teenager needs on top of adolescence and potential bullying situations and the difficulty of being on TV and having a non-standard family is to have his worst moments filmed, aired, and then force him on camera to go over it. So it was just awful. Solomon has some surgery. Robin spends a bunch of time with him. It's the third day with the anthropology students who... I'm going to say are potentially idiots. I'm sorry, guys. I know you're working really hard, but I'm going to get to you later. So um, they talk with Christine and her mother, Annie, about leaving the religion. And what I'm noticing is this trend of this is the second or third time where you talk about looking up to when they were kids in the polygamy in polygamy, they looked up and they saw the sister wives and everybody was getting along and they were so happy and every, you know, they, the kids really benefit from having these multiple moms who all love them and all that. And then, then when they become sister wives, it's not at all like that. And you hear that from Annie, Christine talking about Annie, and then you hear about Mary saying that she doesn't have the relationship with Janelle that she expected. And you kind of start to go, maybe that's true for everyone. Maybe everybody is like idealizing it when they're kids and then they grow up and the reality is different and their kids grow up and do it. So conveniently, the female student, I don't even remember, I don't know, Annabelle or something, I don't know. She said on Twitter that no, she had not watched any of the show, but conveniently enough in her room where she was staying, was their book and so she read it and then that way she was able to talk to Mary about some things mentioned in the book and I'm thinking okay not only is there product placement but I'm sure it was a total accident and nobody pointed out the book to her and no one made the suggestion that this would be a good thing for her to talk about and I'm just like a book written by them no less so she talks to Mary about her relationship with Janelle and she's like well it's just not what I expected it's like yeah clearly anyway they have poker night um, they, they did point out that Cody spends a lot of time with Solomon, he spends a lot of time with his boys, he doesn't have a really great relationship with, um, with his mom, uh, with the girls. Janelle points out that Cody has a better relationship than she ever had with her father. Apparently that just blows her away, but I'm thinking, well that doesn't exactly, you know what I mean? Like, that's hardly, like, standard for, like, clearly he's father of the year. I'm just, I'm, I'm clearly getting over this show because I'm just so angry with them all the time. Uh, they get into it where Cody's talking. So Mariah says that she, whether she's a first or a third or a fifth wife, and he's like, whoa, third or fifth. And I'm thinking, Mr. Four Wives, like, you're any place to judge. They are just so judgy for people who are constantly going, accept my lifestyle, accept my lifestyle. It's like, come on, like, you know, get, get off your high horse with some of this. Um, especially when you talk about the same lifestyle that they're already living. Will you just settle down? He, he wants to go pee on something, I can tell. I can just tell. Anyway, so Cody's going off about these long courtships, and then Christine's like, it really hurts me when you talk like that. And then Robin's like, well, let me tell you what he really meant. And I'm like, Robin, you need to shut your mouth, okay? So Christine's really hurt, and I said, you know, I thought she just looked so miserable. And someone pointed out that, you know, clearly now Robin is the favorite wife. It's it's clear. I am so I don't care what the anthropology students say. It's really obvious. It's obvious in their interviews. It's obvious in the fact that the whole family is doing the Sister Wives jewelry collection, despite the fact that nobody wants to do it. Um, anyway, somebody said Christine might have been the favorite before Robin. And I was like, oh, that would explain a lot about why Christine's so miserable and why their marriage is struggling so much. Anyway, at the end, the students give them their summary, and they're like, you guys are awesome. Cody's not awful. Oh, and then they go back to the professor, and they're like, there is no favorite wife. They're so healthy. And I'm like, okay, shh, cut, cut. You know, like, first of all, you were there for two days. Secondly, you haven't seen the show. I'm Okay, so I've worked in reality TV, so I certainly haven't worked in a series like this, so I can't tell you for sure what's going on. 
but there's been consistent stuff that they couldn't have like accidentally gotten footage over the years and even when they're in interviews looking at the show they're saying yeah that's pretty accurate to how it is we all see it everybody sees it everybody sees robin's the favorite so for them to go and tell their professor there is no favorite they all equally connect i just feel like either either they didn't see enough in their two days or they're really bad at their at their job or this was some big i feel like this season is like we're going to make the viewers love the Browns. First they have the Robin episode. Now they're having a Mary episode. I'm like, they must have known what was coming. and This was going to be so awkward and people are going to be really upset. So now they're really trying to shove it down our throats that we're supposed to like them. Anyways, with the end, Mary's going to go get some legal advice. And I've been thinking about this for five years. And so, the, you know, the big cliffhanger, she's looking into a divorce and it's you know could would have been a huge cliffhanger if they hadn't come out in the blogs like three weeks ago so now they have this big like two week break where we're supposed to be like oh my gosh are they really getting a divorce is she leaving the family but now we know it's just a legal restructuring and it's probably so that they can lie in their taxes about alimony and so that she can get government assistance as a single woman or a single mother or with a dependent i don't i don't really know um and so that it will help Robin's custody battle and all this. And I just feel like it's all, I don't know. If that's what's going on and I don't know yet, we'll have to wait and see. I feel like that's really based on like government fraud that the taxpayers are going to pay for um, because they're working the system. I don't know though. Although I will say I, I do, Janelle's looking really good. So she's getting a... She had her own checkbook and she is working as a real estate agent. I know that she really would love to do that. You know, she's always, she's the only one who's got any money sense. Mary with your huge house so they can have huge parties and no one ever has a party at her house. Anyway, John will be back soon. Thanks all. As always, hit me up in the comments. I love talking with you guys. It's so much fun.